So, it's almost Halloween, which means it's almost November, which means right here, we're going to be having a sale real soon. So, let's do something a little different. Let's go in here and uh, I'm going to pick out my November Criterion sale wish list. Come with me. Let's go in Barnes and Noble. Why? Why the fuck does this exist? And better yet, why is it thirteen dollars? Four douchebags. So I don't know a whole lot about this, but I love the cover art, and uh, after reading the description, this sounds really cool. Does anybody know anything about Demon Pond? It's from 1979, Japanese. Masario Shinoda? I always put off this, but this is one of my favorite. Actually, this is my favorite David Lynch film, so... Definitely need to pick up Lost Highway. Just watched this for the first time a couple of weeks ago. This was really good. Bound, kind of a thriller, I guess. But uh, I really enjoyed this one. I just saw Sisters for the first time the other night. So it's definitely got me interested in Brian De Palma's work. So... Blowout. I know this is on a lot of people's list um, when it comes to like sale videos or hauls or whatever. This is such a fucking weird movie. This is one I've seen on a lot of lists. It sounds really interesting. Really uh, minimalist film from Wim Wenders. Uh, came out in 2023. Anybody know anything about Perfect Days? After Hours is another. Um, 1995, Martin Scorsese. You need this in your life if you don't have it. Godzilla is one that every time the sale comes on, I plan on getting and for some reason I never do. I'm getting at this sale. Faux show. Sure. I have this on a DVD at home, but this is like one of the prettiest <laughs> Criterion packages I've seen. Grand Budapest Hotel. I typically don't rebuy films solely for the packaging, but this might be an exception. There's a good Halloween title Arsenic and Old Lace, Cary Grant. Frank Capus, 1944. I don't have this. I have this on a regular DVD at home, but it's a great movie. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. I really love Nicole Kidman, and I've actually never heard of this film before, but this is a fairly new release. What is it? Focus. You don't want to focus. It's 1213. Spy number 1213 from 1995. To die for. If you guys know anything about these, drop some comments. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Oh, God. Did you eat all this acid? One of the best films of all time. Great packaging, too. I love the moth on the cover. It's so fucking cool. Clute. So this cover just caught my eye. I've never even seen this or heard of it, but it's a another Mim Vendors film. Anslem. Hypnotic portrait of one of the most innovative and important painters and sculptors of our time. I like the cover. That's really cool. Buy this. 
the one year anniversary edition of this year's most overhyped album. I feel like the blob is something I should pick up. They got all the Criterion screams. I have most of these. I have both of those. I have both of those. The Brood. This is another one. This is uh, David Cronenberg from 1979. I like Cronenberg's stuff. It's really good. Oh, look. They have cat people. You should definitely pick this one up. This is something I picked up. I think during the last sale in uh, Sijun Suzuki's Branded to Kill. This is from 1967. Japanese New Wave. Brutal, hilarious, and visually inspired masterpiece. Branded to Kill. I want to check this one out. A lot of the new releases at the top. Inland Empire is so fucking weird. I mean, I know it's David Lynch, it's supposed to be weird, but it's like extra weird. But, uh, yeah. Lots of, lots of goodies here. Gonna be a lot of... I'm not even sure when the November sale starts. I know it doesn't last as long as the one that happens in July. But, um, oh shit, look, they have cat. 